almost seems never ending. No, especially here in Central Ohio too. Right. And, and you said be seen, social event. Um, my wife and I went last year mm -hmm. and we treated the Sunday round as almost like a scenic walking, yes. like exercise walking. We were walking hole to hole all over the place and then golf was there with the best yes. players in the world, yes. you know, so it was uh, nice. Yeah, I've gone with friends and it's kind of like almost a fashion show. That too. Yeah. Also, and while it's there's in some golf Dublin out of all places. Yeah. I mean, one, yeah. of the, one of our nicest towns. I love Dublin. Yeah. It's such a nice town. Yeah. Uh, nice. Weather wise for the tournament could be a little bit iffy leading up to it. On Wednesday, we have some very heavy rainfall, but then things really push on out of here. Today, though, it's all about the heat and the humidity. Man, we're talking highs up around 80 as we head towards the afternoon hours. I mean, widespread temperatures near 90 as we head towards the second half of the day. If you're going out with your uh, kiddos on school vacation, trying to get some ice cream, well, eat it fast. Do not put it in that cone because uh, it's gonna melt in probably a few minutes with how hot it's gonna be this afternoon. One of the days that you wanna put it in a dish. Temperatures over the next few days will be dropping. Why is that? Well, we have a big old cold front coming in on Wednesday. 80% chance of rain, 20% today. Then as we head towards uh, Thursday and Friday, looking at about a 20% chance of rain, give or take. Now, the common denominator for Thursday and Friday is that many of these rain chances happen to our north. And then the further down to the south that you live, things will be a lot quieter and drier. High pressure is with us for today, but here's a look at our next cold front that will bring us storms heading into the day on Wednesday. A lot of soupy air for this to work with. That moves out of here on Thursday, and look at the wind. Now the wind is going to be coming in from the northwest, making things feel cooler, more refreshing, just overall more pleasant and more relaxing. Also, look here at the humidity forecast for today. Ahead of the cold front, you have south winds. So now that air is coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. We got that south wind. The humidity will be oppressive for today. But behind the cold front, we have refreshing air that's going to spew in less humidity going into Thursday and Friday. We're still looking at dew points modestly in the 50s, maybe low 60s. But all the real soupy, uncomfortable air is going to be down towards uh, the deep south. Heading out there today, we're not looking at a whole lot going on. Maybe a pop-up storm this afternoon. What I really want to jump to, though, is the impact weather, which will come on your Wednesday. And here's a look tomorrow at 10 a.m. Things are pretty quiet here in the morning, but as we head towards the afternoon by about 2 p.m., now we're getting those darker yellows and reds on the map. The heavier storm cells begin to move on through. And then as we work our way towards 6 p.m. in the afternoon, look at this right here. To the east of Mansfield, southeast of I-71, some really strong cells beginning to develop. And then by the afternoon, by 10 p.m., it's gone. And then we have that pleasant air that moves on in for Thursday and Friday. Okay, severe outlook, mainly north and west of I-71. The biggest risk will be thunder, lightning, and obviously some downpours. We're not looking at any large hail, though. And then the seven-day forecast shows that the rain clears up on Thursday. If you're heading off to the Memorial Tournament this weekend, we will be dodging a few storms, but it looks like they'll be isolated at best. And then by Monday and Tuesday, we warm back up to the low 80s, mid 80s, as we get a week out from today. The humidity returns as we get the return of that south wind, but it looks like we have a nice few days late this week where things will be cooler and more refreshing.